NASA has ruled out a weekend launch for a SpaceX Crew Dragon carrying four astronauts to the International Space Station, delaying the Crew 3 flight to Monday at the earliest due to expected bad weather, agency officials said Thursday. NASA and SpaceX are also now considering whether to bring the four astronauts of the previous mission, Crew 2, back down to Earth before sending Crew 3 skyward. A SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule and Falcon 9 rocket were originally scheduled to launch Crew 3 early Sunday morning, October 31, from Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center here in Florida. But before the crew could climb aboard, NASA announced a 72-hour delay, citing poor weather conditions along the rocket's flight path. Then, a minor medical issue cropped up with one of the astronauts, forcing the agency to push the launch out to no earlier than 11.36 p.m. EDT on Saturday, November 6, 0336 GMT on November 7. However, Mother Nature has now nixed that plan, as the weather conditions all weekend look pretty poor, according to forecasters at the 45th Space Delta here at Cape Canaveral. So NASA and SpaceX are rethinking their plans for both launch and splashdown. Mission teams will make a final decision on whether to prioritize Crew 3's launch or Crew 2's return in the coming days based on the likelihood of favorable conditions for a Crew Dragon splashdown or Crew Dragon launch, NASA said in an afternoon blog post. NASA and SpaceX also are reviewing the time needed between launch or return operations. If NASA presses ahead with the Crew 3 launch Monday, liftoff from Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center would be targeted for 9.51 p.m. EST. If Crew 2 is ordered home first, a docking could come as early as 1.05 p.m. Sunday for a splashdown off the coast of Florida on Monday. SpaceX requires several days to transition from Crew Dragon recovery operations to a launch campaign and a Monday landing by the Crew 2 astronauts would further delay the launch of their replacements. It also would prevent a direct handover in which an outgoing station crew spends several days with their replacements, familiarizing them with lab operations. The Crew 2 astronauts currently on station, NASA's Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur, along with European Space Agency, ESA, astronaut Thomas Pesquet and Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency space flyer Akihiko Hoshide, were originally slated to come home on Thursday, assuming the Crew 3 quartet of NASA's Raja Chari, Tom Marshburn, Kayla Barron and ESA's Matthias Maurer launched on October 31st. The original Crew 3 delay to Wednesday, November 3rd, put Crew 2's earliest departure on November 7. Crew 2, which launched in April, is in a bit of a time crunch, since its Dragon spacecraft is rated to stay in space for approximately 210 days, or 7 months. With that deadline fast approaching, and the weather looking bleak, NASA may decide to bring that mission home first. These are dynamic and complex decisions that change day by day, Steve Stick, NASA's commercial crew program manager said in the blog post. The weather in November can be especially challenging, so our goal is to move forward on the plan with the highest probability of mission assurance and safety. Crew 3 astronauts Raja Chari, Thomas Marshburn, Caleb Barron and European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer originally planned to take off October 31st. But the flight was delayed to Wednesday because of high waves in the Atlantic Ocean along the Crew Dragon's trajectory to orbit where the crew might have to attempt an emergency landing in an abort. The flight then was delayed to at least Saturday because of an unspecified medical issue with one of the crew members. In Thursday's blog post, NASA said the medical issue is still being monitored, but it's expected to be cleared by the time Crew 3 launches, whenever that might be. The launch delay to Monday at the earliest was due to predicted high liftoff winds, cumulus clouds, and surface electric field constraints Saturday, NASA said, and unacceptable downrange weather Sunday along the ascent trajectory. Mission teams are still monitoring weather conditions for a launch attempt on Monday, November 8, NASA said. The primary operational concern is strong winds at the pad and unfavorable conditions downrange.